So today I wanted to share this app. It is called the eSword and I'm just gonna kind of go through and share it and then how to customize it because you can kind of customize it for yourself like with different commentaries and stuff. So I thought I would just kind of do a little tutorial of it. Um, so on the phone, it's free. You can download the free version. There are like extra add-ons. I haven't seen anything that I feel like I need an extra add-on. Um, and then on the app, it's five, or on the iPad, it's $5.99. And then if you want the computer version, it's $10.99. So the only like, I guess, annoying thing is that there's no like account. So you can't like sign in and then like sync it between your devices, which would be kind of cool. Um, but if you do purchase something, you get like a product key basically. So you can type it into every single device. But I do wish that I could kind of sync it. But I just decided to do my phone and my iPad. Um, I like the iPad, which I can't really show you the phone, but the phone just has like one screen where this, where it'd look like something like this, where the um, iPad, you can see a bunch of different stuff at one time, which I really like. So um, first of all, you can have your different versions. So there are versions like you've got the ESV King James version, and you can add others. Um, these are all the ones that are free. And then there are some that like cost money, but the ESV is free. King James version is free. Um, and those are really, you know, I usually use the ESV. So there's that. Um, and then up here is where you change, you know, you can find it. And I kind of like the way it works. So you just click Psalm, you click one, you click verse two, and it just goes right there and it's highlighted. And then you just highlight the different verses. And then over here are some cross references. And I like it because you don't have to, it doesn't like take you to that page. You just click on it and it'll show you right there what it is. So you're still on your original verse and you can just click through the other cross references, which I really like. And then, and then there's other things you can add. So this is commentary. So if you go to the commentary section, you can choose who you want to be there. So Matthew Henry is my favorite. You can choose this one. There's a bunch. Again, you just kind of, if this is the one you want, you'd click on it, you'd push download, it would download. And then you would just go to this commentary and make sure it's clicked on who you want. So I want Matthew Henry. So then when I'm here on my main page, this is Matthew Henry's. Um, and you can highlight stuff too. So you can even highlight the commentary. But this is Matthew Henry's commentary on verses 1 through 3. And then as you move, it'll go his commentary from 4 to 6. So I really like this. I typically use the... Um, blue letter bible app but i find i am going back and forth a lot so i'm constantly going from the um like the word study you know the strong's words to commentary going back and forth so i really i'm really excited about this because it's all on one page so i have the bible cross references i've got my commentary and i've got this and even on the blue letter app and this is not like an ad or anything i just i just found this and i really like it um but Finding commentary on the Blue Letter app is hard because it looks more like this where, um, not even like this, um, because it would look like, like this, like Psalms. And it has Matthew Henry's commentary, but you have to really scroll through to find it. So I like that when you're clicked on a verse, it just gives you the commentary for just those few verses. And then down here, you have the word study. So this is the Strong's. So you can just click on the little number and it'll pull up the um, the number it'll pull up some stuff you can click other things like occurrences where else is it in the Bible um, click on meditate and even like here's the root compare this you can click on that so it's really cool and then the other thing is is you can um, do a Lexington compare so I decided to do the Strong's and also this Thayer's Greek definitions so um, it's not there for the Psalms but let's go to like first Peter I don't know let's just choose something um, but okay like this so when you click on it um, let's do quiet so right here it has Strong's right here and then also has this where it gives you the definition so this looks more like blue letter Bible 
Um, Because when I first got this, I was like, okay, it has Strong's, but I'm missing the definition part of Blue Letter Bible, but that's this. So all you have to do to get that is to just go to this Lexington Compare and click both of those. Um, And then you can have both of those right there. Um, Also, if you go here, again, there's like more options. So those are the two that I have, but there's also all these other ones, um, which I really don't know much about all these other ones. The only one that would cost money would be this complete word study dictionary, but you can download these other ones for free. So um, anyways, that's really all I wanted to show you. You can also customize this to make it a cuter color. (laughs) Um, Let's see, display settings. No, just kidding. It's app theme. So you can change that top part to make it, you know, I know that's like, who cares, but (laughs) I like having cute coral stuff. So I really like that. Um, So I find it really easy to use, um, but this is how you set it up. So there's, this is the one that you want. So like this one will just show you the Bible verse. And when you click on it, it doesn't really do anything because you'd have to go to the other stuff. This second one is the one that will show you all your stuff. And again, you can customize it. So if you don't want Matthew Henry here, you choose another one and another one will go here. If you don't want Strong's, you can choose something else to go there. And then there's also um, the parallel verse. So you can choose which parallel verse you want. I think that's here, parallel settings. So you can just put it on, I want ESV and Amplified. And so then it'll always show you the um, parallel verses for whatever verse you clicked over here. So that's it. That's really what I wanted to show you. There's also a dictionary though, actually. So we got the Easton's dictionary. So you can look up words like maybe fear and then fear of the Lord and it'll give you some stuff. And again, you can just kind of click on all the little things that you want to. There's also um, just a bunch of other stuff. There's a today thing, so like a little devotional. Um, This, you can do notes. And um, yeah, that's basically it. But I really like it. I really like that it's all on one page and it's really easy to navigate and kind of see everything. So I am preferring this one over the Blue Letter Bible right now. So I just wanted to show you, kind of um, show you how you can customize it.